What's up, gamer? Okay, that might have been loud. But anyways, today we are playing K on Air, basically a, a plane flying simulator game. This was requested by Aviation04. He's in. He's a friend, so that's why. Yeah. If you want me to play any game, I'll leave it in the description and I'll do it. Yay! Ice cream. So basically, I'm I'm just gonna show off the the Boeing. 757 I'm pretty sure is what I have so yeah you can uh, fly with admin commands super admin you can like kick and stuff I own the B77 which is an interesting plane it's a double decker plane let me just jump out as you can see yeah it's a double decker I really wish I could view it but I mean if I did it would just probably be bad because then it would despawn and I don't feel like flying. So basically the commands are over here. I'm just gonna kind of show it off. I'm not gonna use instant takeoff because that's not as fun. I'll move a bit. I'll press break when I want to instantly do it because that's a thing with this game. Because normally I'll slowly speed up. Actually, no, I don't want to chat. Something, but I don't want to. So, I mean, Pilot is a in game rank. They don't do uh, in game things anymore, they just do. Yeah, so this plane, it costs 350 Robux, which is about three and a half real life dollars. So I used to play this a lot, but then I kind of stopped. And I'm sorry for um, not posting much, but school is crazy. So yeah, um, I'm about to take off with this beauty. And it's going to be cool. So, I'm gonna, I don't feel like using instant takeoff. Usually the co-pilot can um, take off the wheels and turn the engines on. I don't think the engines do anything but the wheels, which are interesting. So I'm going to fly to the green dot. In cruise mode, it becomes stationary. As you can see by up there, I'm not moving. But autopilot, however, as you can see, I'm still moving with autopilot. So I, autopilot really does work, but if you're going to role play, you might as well not. I'm going to autopilot for a bit, so you can get, kind of get the full view, so I can try showing a bit. So as you can see, you have up here, you have the first class on the top. And then we go down here. Sorry if it's a weird thing. So then this is the economy seat. As you can see back there. Then here we have a lounge and then there's a bar back there. And yeah, that's it for this plane. It's a very interesting one to say the least. I'm gonna head into that city. So yeah, autopilot will make it go s slower, but autopilot basically means I don't have to fly it. Anchor just stops it, which is basically a freeze. Gear, what does gear do? Ah, hmm. uh, it kind of flares, alright. So, oh, flaring kind of makes it straight. All right, that was weird. Wait, that's a broken command. Normally, the me slash me command doesn't work. They removed it. Did they add it back? Interesting. So yeah, we're about to land. Let's go here for a bit so we can get a proper land. So 
they're gonna fire this city. They're gonna start defusing a bit. There we go, slowing down. There we go. There we go, 15. So it's really graphical, this one. It's really nice. Because normally the admin ones, they'll get a uh, four. You can get four planes if you get admin commands, and you can do like H and that stuff. So that people know you're boarding. This game is known for admin abuse, cheap admin abuse, because there's no really people who can ban. They don't sell owners, which is good. You could get spam kickers potentially. So, like that. I'll land at International Airport we could have stopped at. And then we just break. That's T right there. And then we just take off like that. We'll fly to the blue place. I mean it's definitely an interesting game, to say the least. Yeah, I have music off because I'm pretty sure it's copyright. Kind of stinks, but I mean... Yeah. I mean, if you look at it, uh, these doors... Oh, 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 um... You want to go up a bit. So I mean, that's a nice plane. You even have a toilet on this plane. Those are some eco seats. Yeah, you can see there's a little thing like that. See, nice plane. Uh, that's a emergency seat. No, that's a cabin crew seat. So, but yeah, it's definitely a unique game to say the least. I mean, you, the only problem is you can't fly a plane unless if you spend money in it. And like, the minimum is 300 for a unique plane. This is 350, so I mean, I didn't even get like the other planes. This is the only plane I got. Come on, cruising, cruising, cruising. It's definitely wavy like this if you see. It's interesting. Alright, so yeah. It's very interesting to say the least, because I mean, you have places you can fly to, but I mean, then again, the. the big pet peeve about this game is that uh yeah also if you're uh, just curious in this game if i do hotel slash hotel it will bring up you to this game called blocked hotels which i work at and then if you do here slash airport you go to the K on air. 
because both of these games are made by Simon Dev. So he connects the game. It's pretty, it's, it's a secret, but it's a good secret. So uh, yeah, a uh, very common glitch in this game is if somebody's sitting down, you just have to click on their head to cuff them, like this lady. Wait, do I do this? Whoa. That's very interesting. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very interesting, I really wish that.